Hi, and welcome to the Let's Do Video podcast. My name is David Maldo, and today I want to show you how I use the Elgato Stream Deck to control my Zoom meetings. If you don't know what the Stream Deck is, it's a device that was originally used by streamers to control apps while they stream, but it really can be used to control just about anything on your computer. So this is my Stream Deck set up for my normal Twitch stream. And as you can see, you can put customizable images on it, and I had a little fun with that. And I use it to mute myself, have things pop up, and other stream-related effects. And here you can see the profile that I set up for Zoom with the controls that I wanted to include. I can open the app, I can mute myself, and you can choose whichever options you want. So let me show you how to set it up. So this is the Stream Deck configuration app as it looks on your desktop. And anything you do here will be reflected on the Stream Deck device. So let me show you how I created this. Let's create a new profile. All new profiles start with a button linking to the Elgato website for more information. But we can, we can delete that for now. And the first thing we'll do is change the profile name. So we go to the settings and I'll call it Zoom Demo. You can set it up so that it'll always switch to this profile whenever you go to Zoom, something you might want to do. So how do we create our first button to run Zoom? Well, as you can see on the right, there's a number of apps that have direct integrations and Zoom doesn't have one yet. However, under system, there's open. You go to open, we'll call it Zoom. And then under app file, you click and you find that file on your system. And what's great is when you select the zoom.exe file, it actually puts the right icon there for you. And just as I added it, that button now appears on my Stream Deck and it opens Zoom. So what about the rest of the buttons? Most of them I did with hotkeys. Zoom has a number of hotkey commands. You can find them here. Just open up your Zoom app, click the settings cog, and there you have your keyboard shortcuts. And you can see there's plenty of options and you can choose which ones you want to include on your Stream Deck. So for example, mute is Alt A. So we'll go over to the system, sub menu again, and grab hotkey, click to assign. So I'll make it Alt A and I'll title it mute. Now I have my mute button. When I hit that button, it does Alt A and if I'm in Zoom, it'll mute or unmute myself. Now, it didn't automatically change our icon this time, but if we want, we can create a custom one. We can just drag one over from a file, I have one here, and you just drop it, and that changes it. And again, on the Stream Deck itself, now I have that button there and it does that. So one last trick. What if you want to make this a toggle button, so you can see whether or not you're muted? What you do is, instead of using hotkey, you use hotkey switch. And again, we're going to make this our mute button. And we're having Alt A be both things because muting and unmuting both use Alt A. And what happens now is when I press the button on my Stream Deck, it switches it between those two images. And again, if you want, you can drag images over so you could have any image you want, a bright green or a bright red to let you know if you're muted or not. So that's it. Using those three techniques, I created all of these buttons, a complete set of controls on my Stream Deck. And now during Zoom meetings, I can focus on the content of the meeting instead of trying to remember hotkeys or poking around with my mouse. Things are just a little quicker and a little easier. So I hope all you Stream Deck users and Zoom callers found this helpful. If you did, please subscribe and like. Thank you.